In case you'd rather not wake up in a puddle of your own vomit tomorrow, I'm going to church. Well, last time we slayed a wolf cult. Now we really have to question the witch and the villagers about that rebellion they were not telling us about. What the hell is this? No. The did witch? they... Did they burn her? Whoa. This looks creepy. What the hell are you two doing? Why burn in the evil witch, my lord? Why? For sorcery. Tis proven fact now. What makes you think that? After you killed her wicked servants, I says we best keep an eye on her, we should. And surely enough, we saw her sneaking off into the woods this morn. To parley with the devils that haunt it, no doubt. Oh, we was afeard at first. Wanted to run back home, we did. But I says nay. We are men, <laughs> and we must keep our families from this devilry. So we done and went and got a chain and some tinder, and the holy cross to protect us. And we waited for her, like, we did. based on her and going into the woods out, at night. We did not shrink from our duty. I. We done did what must be done. Regular heroes, you two. I'm a lord. Honorable to serve. You murdered an innocent woman. N name a lord. We killed an evil witch. You saw yourselves how she bedeviled those Let's men. Let's agree to disagree, we did not I want guess. The same upon us. No, seriously, we're gonna we're gonna kill these idiots now. Innocent. She was selling mind-altering mushrooms. And to someone who doesn't know better, it would seem that she had bewitched those men. Whatever, Especially let's just kill them. We don't even have to talk to them. Let's just prevented. kill them. We should have ordered the locals not to touch her. We should have. But what's done is done. I'm sorry, it's we did. We actually did do that. What do you think, Alex? Uh, we should execute them right now. <laughs> yeah, let's let's ask that. Why is her dress on the ground? Tis a fancy dress, my lord. And we's poor folk. If we sell it, we could feed our young'uns for a month. Why is it torn? She resisted, my lord, and fought like a devil spawn she did. No ordinary wench has that sort of ungodly strength. What did you expect? The poor girl was fighting for her life. You had your son with her before you killed her, didn't you? Nay, my lord, we would never. We's God-fearing folk we are, and we families. I kind of want to believe them, actually, um, except for the, I mean, I don't know, is a torn dress worth anything, really? Maybe? I don't know. Let's kill them anyways, I just want to kill them. Whatever she may have done, they had no right to take her life. They rushed to a judgment they had no authority to make in the first place and murdered her. They should pay the price. I agree. Yeah. Hard to argue with your reasoning, Alex. No, they no. They just don't strike me as evil men. Ignorant, superstitious, frightened, but not evil. And so idiotic they could kill again. Um, it, yeah, ignorance unfortunately does not justify it. So does ignorance, superstition and fear give one the right to commit murder? What if they grow afraid of their neighbors next? Indeed. Um, I guess he's In too... Oh, there it comes. Alexei III, and on his behalf... I hereby judge you men guilty of murder and sentence you to die. Uh, oh cool, we... That's kind of nice actually that we don't get to see that. That is insane. Uh, also, what the heck is with the... Uh, oh, I see, it's just logs so she would burn better. Well, that is freaking horrific. Oh my goodness. It makes me wonder, like, did was there an option to not do... What's going on? For some reason it's just circling around me. Am I just drunk with guilt? I don't know what's going on. It, it won't stop rotating. This is this is incredibly annoying. Uh, I'm pretty sure it has nothing to do with my gamepa gamepad. Uh, maybe? Yeah, the game is just bugging out. I have a feeling that we are... Oh, no, it's okay. I don't know what that was, uh, but it's over. So again, I wonder if we could have actually prevented this by uh, telling more people to lay off her. But I think the game might have a bug or just missing content.
I guess we should have walked to the big, to the entrance of the village. I think that vo that was those two, maybe. Huh? I don't know. Well, let's kill everybody in the village, I guess. Is that what we're gonna do here? How about the merchant? Does does he deserve to die? Whoa. What's going on? Are we gonna get uh, attacked now? I'm sorry. What is going on? You are moving really weird. Very weirdly. I'm waiting. Ooh, that was so. Oh, oh what? Okay. Welcome back. You lied to us. You knew about Jacob Petrovsky and what he was doing in the homesteads. My lords, I. Don't lie to us again. My lords, I. I beg mercy, my lords. Mercy! I was afeard. Of what? Of him, of them. You saw what they did to that poor boy from our village. They tore him to bits. All because he changed his art and wanted to go back to his family. So you knew it wasn't monsters that killed him? I, my lord, I beg mercy. Protecting a rebel, lying to Imperial officers, capital offences both. The law is clear. I know I've done wrong, but I was afeard. Not only for myself, but for our whole village. I am responsible for them, after all. <sighs> of course he was afraid. Number four makes no sense. Some of your boys burned the witch. Um, yeah, he has to answer for that. Some boys from the village burned that witch of yours. Did you know about that? What? Nay, my lord, I hadn't a clue. When did this happen? Just now. We ran into them on the way here. Who did it? You'll find their bodies next to a charred corpse by the road just south of the village. My lords, you... You killed them? We did. But we're here to discuss... Of course we did. Affairs ...and your collaboration with a rebel. Beg mercy, my lords. I was afraid of him and only wanted what's best for the village. I am realizing now that I really like this game. This is pretty good stuff, man. Wow. Alright, so do we have to hang him? Uh, well, let's discuss it. I feel for him, but we have to uphold the law. I, I don't know, man. I mean, what, what if we kill him? What then? Who will then be the leader? We don't know here uh, anybody here. We killed the boys. That sends enough of a message, I think. What's there to think about? Let's hang the tray. <sighs> do we have to hang him? He's just a simple peasant. Do we have to do this? The short answer is no. Please, my lords, I beg ye! Now, I'm not eager to do it either, but the law is the law, and high treason is high treason. We can't let it go unpunished. We did kill those boys. Maybe killing him would be better, I don't know. Somebody might have better sense for leading, but okay, we will show mercy. But we have the authority to show mercy, do we not? He's clearly no threat to the Empire. Is he, though? No, he's not. And we've killed enough men for one day. We sure have. Let's go. It doesn't even matter if we had oh, killed those two just now. God keep me. So what now? We go back, report what we found, and then get drunk and have some fun. Maybe find a willing girl or three. That's still on your mind in spite of everything we've seen here? No. It's on my mind because of everything we've seen. And this is just the beginning. Welcome to the unit, Alex. All right. And that's about it. Oh, and their leader was Colonel Demidov. Thank you for skipping Demidov. all that. He's alive. <laughs> Not <laughs> anymore. <laughs> I knew him well. He was a good man. Was. Unfortunately, that's not a quality you want in a man assigned to lead a punitive expedition. <laughs> Regardless, we've taken care of the cult. The rumors should cease now. I wouldn't be so certain. Evidence, or lack thereof, is rarely a factor for rumors and the people who propagate them. I want to punch you. Which at this point is half the Empire. These things spread like wildfire. I want to drink with you. I'm more concerned about this wise man. Jacob Petrovsky, you say? Vlad, what do you and Eugene have? A common illiterate laborer, a vagabond deserter and petty criminal. Well known and I'm freaking scared of this guy. In fact, they arrested him two days before we arrived there. Oh? We have him. No. He escaped two hours before we arrived there. How? 
during a transfer from the local guardhouse to the provincial prison. The local police failed to recognize him as a serious threat, so he was escorted by only two soldiers. One of the soldiers attacked the other and rode off together with this Jacob and some Confederates. Any idea where he went? It's as if he vanished into thin air. The locals swore on their lives that they'd never seen him before. We threatened to hang a few of them, but their story did not change. Either they're telling the truth, or they're willing to die for him. Must be some man, this vagabond. Not many can inspire such loyalty. I'm dying to meet him myself. Do we know what he wants, precisely? I don't think even he knows precisely. Doesn't seem like he planned much of this. From what we've gathered, he's been ranting and raving against the Emperor for years. It's just that no one took him seriously. Until now. Until now. It seems that these rumors about demons or whatnot fell right into his lap. The commoners are convinced that the devils come for us all, and they need someone to blame. And it just so happened that this clown was out there jabbering about the Emperor being the root of all evil. Hmm. The peasantry's already on edge because of the recent increases in taxes and military service terms. The rumors may turn out to be the final stroke. How bad is it? Are we indeed looking at a full-scale uprising? Not yet. He has a lot of support, but he hasn't fully realized how to take advantage of it. Once he does, however... We need to get to him before things get out of control. Okay. Clearly we need to go and look for him. So what are we doing here? We should be out there looking for him. The Empire is vast. There are thousands of villages and a hundred times as many homesteads where he could find shelter. And he knows we're after him, so he will likely lay low for now. Without a clear trail, we have no hope of finding uh -huh. him. Our best bet is to remain here and be ready to act the moment he re-emerges. So this will be the overarching he really is plot, the threat, I guess? Seems to be. We won't have to wait long. I'll alert every provincial governor and the imperial police. That's all for all today. Right. So that quest and will haunt us later. Go. He's not bad with a sword. Good. What about mentally? He's smart and has a keen eye for detail. I'm glad to hear that. Most importantly, does he have the will to do what must be done? Hmm. Didn't have an opportunity to find out yet. Hmm. We shall see. Vlad, okay. The rest of you boys can get some rest today. It's well deserved. Report back here at sunrise. Oh, and Alex, your friend Diana is in town. I'm sure she'd like to see you. How do you know about her? How do you know she's my friend? Are you serious? Enjoy yourself tonight, my boy. You've earned it. If you want to have fun, come with us to a tavern. We'll start with cards, then we'll see. Right, we'll see. In case you'd rather not wake up in a puddle of your own vomit tomorrow, I'm going to church. Oh. You're welcome to join me. You sweetheart. You say that as if I wake up in a puddle of vomit every morning. I don't doubt that there are occasional exceptions. At any rate, it's a sign of good health. What? Yes, you're all too healthy. I'll grant you that. We'll see you tomorrow, gentlemen. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure I, I know what we want. And what we want is a new character. So let's go visit Diana. All right. Thanks for playing. We hope you had fun. Please post any comments, etc., etc. This was the demo. I'm very extremely positively surprised. The writing was good. The translations were good. The voice acting was good. The visuals are stunning, actually. You can see the Unreal Engine forness, but it's quite good. The darkness was annoying in that, you know, night section. And there were a few bugs, but really impressed, very, very much impressed with this. But really, the writing and the and the voice acting is, is very, very surprisingly good. So I look forward to uh, this game hopefully becoming an actual thing and not just a demo at some point, and me being able to change the settings without the audio screwing up. So thanks for watching me play this, and I will see you next time. Until then, ciao.